Welcome back. I'm Chef John. Rebecca's behind the camera. Today we're going to make another dessert. I'm going to make an apple pan dowdy. So let's go here and get this going. It's a very simple recipe. It's almost like an apple crisp. So let's see what we got going on here. So you're going to need about um, three to five apples. I got four in here. You want to slice them up in wedges. I use an apple core and then I sliced it again. Um, so let's get this going. So there's our apples. We got, again, four. It, the recipe calls for Granny Smith. You can use what you want. It's not apple season right now, so we went with honey crisps. So they'd be sweeter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add everything except for the butter and the brown sugar right now and the, the, the pastry. So let's go ahead. We've got some uh, Got some lemon juice. I'll leave the recipe in the show more. We're gonna add some uh, lemon zest. We're gonna add some uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. Add some allspice. Some vanilla. And I'm gonna add, this is extra. I'm gonna add some of my sweet bourbon barrel aged uh, maple syrup, just a little bit. I love this stuff. Just gonna drizzle some over it. That's probably about two tablespoons. All right, now we gotta mix all this up. Smells good. You smell that? Yep. She said, "Yeah." I sure can. Because you're using that cinnamon and uh, allspice. allspice in there, you don't have to worry so much about the apples turning brown before no. you get them in there. Oh, so, all right. So now we want to add our cornstarch, and now we want to mix it all. Up. Set this to the side. You want some butter. This is four uh, tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and nuke it, get it melted. And we're gonna take some butter and we're gonna grease our pan up. Normally we have spray, I just don't have none here where we're cooking this. But we're just gonna Grease it with some butter. And this is room temperature butter. You can use, uh, I think this is maybe a two and a half to three inch pan depth wise. Uh, you can use a two to two and a half what it calls for, but this will be fine. If you want to use a little small one, I'll leave the recipe down in the show more with the pan size and everything. So, All right. So we got this done. We're going to go ahead and put these in here. You can dump the juice and all. It's just it's not going to hurt anything. Gonna spread these out evenly. <laughs> One thing I left out was the brown sugar. But that's fine. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. It's gonna melt down. Melt there. down in there. Get all over it. How did I miss the brown sugar? Well, the same way I missed the, the pan here with the brown sugar. Just goes to show we do make this. We're not perfect, y'all. I know you think we are. We are. I just, I'm just not perfect fast. I'm perfect slow. <laughs> Puff pastry. That's about two inches. So we're just gonna cut this on that line. And I don't have any flour with me, so I'm trying to be careful with this so I can get it up. I 
thing is still flowered on top. So close as we can. And, and, and that's why it's called doubting. They don't have to be, they're not supposed to be perfect. That's, that's what doubt, doubting means. Unkempt, uneven. Cut them in all different sizes. Stack these up. And you just lay these in any way, shape, form. Just a little hodgepodge. Overlap them just a little bit, but leave some Leave some breaks in it where you can see the pie, uh, the apples. We've got our oven preheated to 375. Tear one and put it here and put one there. All right, now what we want to do, four tablespoons of butter. Just want to drizzle this over the, over the pastry. Regular granulated sugar, just sprinkle it all over it. I think that was about a tablespoon of sugar. All right, we're going into a 375 degrees preheated oven for 55 to 65 minutes. And then I'll tell you what to do next. All right. Well, we've got about 18 minutes left. What you want to do is you want to push down on this, get some of that juice up on your on this bread crust. That's why you want to leave some space in between there. Don't matter if you mash it down. Trust me, it's going to come back up. Let's get some of that juice on there. in for the rest of the 17 minutes. here today doing our taste test they're the wonderful teachers that we work with so good. yay how is it girls it's really good no it's so not the lemon isn't overpowering and All you can right. taste that sweetness mm -hmm. of the bourbon just mm -hmm. enough it's almost like an apple crumb right mm -hmm. that, that's the way I put it. Yeah. No, the apples are like perfect 
They're not just, yeah, they're not like lunch to them still, mm -hmm. but yes. not, mm, not soggy. Correct. Yes. Please share, like, and comment, and come back again. It's delicious. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>